Our scripture will be coming from Psalms 24, and it reads, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory shall come in. Amen. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Let us pray. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we just thank you on this morning. Father God, we thank you for every battle, Father God, and every struggle that we have made it through thus far this year, Father God. Father God, we ask you right now, God, for your forgiveness, Father God, of anything said, done, or even thought, Father God, that was not pleasing in thy sight. Now, Father God, we ask you right now, Lord, that you would be with us through this service, Father God. We ask you right now that you would bless our pastor and first lady, Father God, while they're at home, Father God, recovering. Father God, we thank you for every heart and every voice that's here today, Father God. Every usher, Father God. Every deacon, Father God. Every trustee, Father God. We just thank you right now, Father God. And Father God, we will not forget the ministers, Father God, as well, Father God. Now, Father God, we ask you right now, Father God, that when you would use each and every one of us in the way that you would have us to be used, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Uh, thank you, Jesus, that he have allowed us to come together and worship and praise his holy name. When you know people all over the world somewhere will never, ever be able to worship his holy name. The title of the song is All of My Help. Listen to these words. Amen.
available for you. Nothing you've done that could have made it come about other than listen to what God has to say for you. And as we look around, we can say, thank you, God, for this day. Because I need God every day. I don't know how you need it. And I can say for me, without God, I could not have made it. Amen. Amen. Am I happy to see you? Dear God, I want to say thank you for this morning. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me to be here this morning. Thank you already for what my ears have heard. Now, God, I ask that you would intervene and say to me what you would have me to say to you. Yeah. That we might all get the glory that you have for us. For Christ's sake. Amen. 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 The making, the making of a prophet. Okay. Right. We're going to look at you have your Bibles. The sixth chapter of Isaiah. And we begin from six to eight. And I want to say for us, if we stop and look at uh, Isaiah, Isaiah said a lot of things that we don't pay attention to too much. Because God brought us the fault. We have been disobedient all our lives. And but, but then too, God called him to handle and talk to a disobedient people. One didn't want to listen. And the first verse said, In the year that King Uzzah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. This is what I just saw. Why did he see it? Because God made sure he saw what it was. And he said, The year that Uzzah died, if you just stop for a moment, he said, Well, why did he die? Uzzah, you have to read 2 and 1 King. And you'll find out that Uzzah had decided to take over part of what the priest was supposed to be doing. And if you do that, that meant that you was at the wrong place doing the wrong thing. But God, he had done a lot of things. He made a lot of things possible for a lot of people. Even though we might have done a lot of things for a lot of people, they might think of us as God for them. But we are not God. We're just another human being that we have to look to God ourselves for to get top. And if we don't look to God, we can't see God, then we know we got a problem. And if we got a problem, he said, I saw. I just said, I saw. And he didn't say he was sitting down. He said, lift it up, right? Yeah. Sitting upon a throne. How many thrones are there? There's only one. And that's the throne of God. Yeah. And with that throne, we have to look forward to that throne. Oh, there's a distance from here to yonder. But there is not a more of a distance than we could ever go up on our own to heaven. Yeah. So when then we looked down and said, and said, and his train filled the temple. In other words, him, his smoke or whatever around him, everything God's glory filled the temple. Mm -hmm. And when it filled the temple, it removed all the other stuff that was in there and made us different. You know, if when we think about it, we can't fill no temple like God can. Amen. And then the other thing about this, as I died under a cloud. Mm -hmm. Why? What happened? He went into the wrong place right. and he began to burn incense. Right. That wasn't his job. That was the prophet's job. Right. And sometimes we get too high and get out of our place. God has to bring us to where we ought to be. Right. And if we see and we listen, I don't care how much you watch TV or what you see on TV, God is still in charge. Yeah. Yeah. God get out of charge, then we ain't got nobody in charge, but we have to answer to God. Amen. And so, and then we look at it, it says, and above it, above it stood a serpent. Each one has six wings, with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. Six wings. And when we look at all that, even them, they sung and they praised God, but they covered the face. Amen. Took the feet, right. and with two they flew away. Right. So what did I tell you? You ain't no ways close to them, right. and so you're not in no ways close to God. So that means that tells me that I need to pray to God more often to get a feel and cleanse me to be where I ought to be. I am not where I ought to be, but because I ain't done what I ought to have done. And see, when we get that, I said, but when we look at those, and he cried, one or another said, holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, the whole world 
and full of his glory. God has brought us and showed us a lot of things, have done a lot of things for us. And then we have a tendency to turn our back and turn the other way. Because we want to find something that we feel can do the same thing for us that God can. Ain't no way. And if, with that being the case, we got a problem today. We don't have time for God. We don't want to listen to God. We don't want to see God. And we look up, oh, there he is. You can't see God. You can't meet God other than where he meets you at, where you at. You can't go where he is, so you have to meet him where you at. And if you can meet him where he at, if you can meet him, you know that word, you the word. Why do you use the word if? If you are cleansed and set aside and holy, then you will see God. And it said, and it, and one cried to another and said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. God is the only one who can fill the earth with glory. Amen. We fill the earth with a whole lot of junk. But that's not what's going to help us. And none of us can expect to go where God is, but we expect to meet God where we are. God is all right to meet the son of man where he is because the son of man can't come to where he is. Amen. You know, I don't care how big we get, how much we know, and how many planes we fly, jets, or whatever, we'll never yeah. reach God yeah. unless we come down and meet us where yeah. we are. Yeah. And see, sometimes we forget that God is in control. That we yeah. want to think about we being in control, and God ought to come and do what we say. Yeah. But it don't work that way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And said, even if you even, look at it real close, the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. Yes. Well, wait a minute. God, earth is full of his glory. A lot of times we don't see it because we got our eyes closed. And if our eyes ain't closed, they close another way that we can't see what's going on. We can't see sometimes because something else is in our way and we feel like that's God. So we look at that rather than look to God. Amen. And when we do that, we miss what we have. It said, even the posts of the doors moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with his smoke. Amen. Even, you know, the posts moved. You think about it. How many of us can say something strong enough that the post will shake? Amen. Amen. Even sometimes we put our hand to try to shake the post, we still can't shake it. Amen. But God voice. God voice can move a lot of things. It can move us and call us and say also. But we have to look to God for all of this. You say, well, who is God? You ought to know God for yourself. You say, well, I, how do I get to know him? Why don't you read your Bible sometime? Why don't you just ask somebody who else knows God? To tell you about God. Let you see some experience that God has done for them that they will rub off on you and you get a tendency to want to follow God and do what God has for you to do. Everybody doesn't have the same thing. God has a special thing for each one of us. And if we didn't have that, we would have a problem. And then it said, but see the thing is when we look at this, said I, whoa, is me. For I am undone because I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. I'm a man. In other words, what was he saying? He said, I'm just a sinner. And I've done everything, still doing everything. I need help. And I know the only way to get help is to get, go to God. Let God remove what it is that hindered me from seeing God. You know, we say, well, I, I pray, but not that. Yeah, but did you pray to God or did you pray to somebody in between you and God? Amen. But you got to come sincere with, in order to reach God. Amen. God tried to reach all of us, and he can reach all of us, but we got to want to reach him too. Amen. You know, it's a strange thing when I look around sometimes. And I see folks, up there, look, look what the man did. Look what he did. Oh, did you see what God did for you before the man ever got to the scene? Oh, yeah. And then when you see the man doing, but you don't see nothing God done for you, had to been for God, the man wouldn't have been able to do anything. So we have to think about who we 
praising God or the man. Amen. And if you praise man, you might get set aside and not be able to get nothing. God can heal you. God can save you. And God can bring you to places that you've never been before. God has a connection between you and him. All you have to do is use it. We don't want to use it sometimes because, you know, if I use it, that makes me feel a little. But who are you? You're not equal to God. Amen. You're not even close. Amen. But then when it said in the fifth verse, then said I, Woo. Whoa is me, for I am undone because I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. And for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. All right. He said, well, wait a minute. I'm a sinner. How many times have you looked in the mirror and told yourself, I know I'm a sinner? Amen. But do we stop and think about who we are? We're just a sinner here on this earth. Without God's glory, without God take care, we will still be a sinner. But we got to admit that we are sinners. God who brought us this fall, God who saved us, God who can take care of their lips and change them and save their lips. You know, you think about it. In order to, when he when said, whoa, I'm undone, the man admitted that he had sinned. And when you admit that you're sin, something can happen. You can be saved and Amen. sin can be removed. You go to the doctor and you tell the doctor, the doctor said, what's your problem? Nothing, I feel all right. What can it do for you? Amen. Not a thing in the world because Amen. ain't nothing you admit to being known. But look at little, little Lord, he said. I just uh, said, look, I am a sinner. And all of us know at some point in time we've been a sinner. All right. And if God had not saved us, we would still be a sinner. And if we ain't careful, we might find ourselves doing a little sin as it is. Amen. So we said, so you have to be careful what you say. It says I'm a man of unclean lips. Look at just 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 lips. We are talking about you gotta do nothing with your hands. But what you say, you gotta be careful. Amen. Because if you don't say the right word, then you're going to find yourself saying some sinful things that is not good for you or anybody else who said, listen to you. God needs you to tell people about you, about him, who is a, a God who can save anybody. But he can't save you as long as you don't admit that you're a sinner. But when you get to the point of, I ain't sin, I did a little sin. Ain't no such thing as a little sin. Sin is sin. In other words, it's just like a spot on the floor. It's just a little spot, but it's still a spot. And, 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 if, and if you don't clean it up, it's still going to be a spot. But sometimes you have to get the man to come and clean it up who had to start to clean it up. God can clean your sin. Nobody else can do it but God. God knows what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. And see, if we don't know who God is, we can't call God. God has shown himself to us Amen. and shown what he can do what he, for us or against us. Until we don't pay attention, you are not equal to God. Amen. And uh, when you look at it, it said, I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. Think about it for a minute. You're around folks who say things, do things, they ain't got no business doing, and the next thing I know you say the same word they say. Amen. Because it sounds good. That means good. But you need to say what God has for you to say. And not only that, if you listen to what God say to you and you repeat it to somebody else, not only will he save you, but he'll save them too because it's his words. I know we would say, oh man, I ain't got time to bother nobody. And it, because, and then, I was like, uh, uh, Isaiah was saying, he said, uh, his eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Yes, yes. The Lord of hosts, his eyes have seen. Have your eyes seen God? Have you seen God in your life? Amen. Do you look for God in your life? Amen. Do you want God in your life? Amen. Are you ready for God to take a part of your life and do what God has for you to do? I know I sound like I'm 
crazy, but I want you to understand something. As long as you got God on your side, my yeah. mama said, if you got God, you got everything you need. Yeah. Doesn't matter about who else got what they can have, whatever, million dollars, whatever. But it don't mean nothing because if you got God, you got it all. And if you got it all as doing what God said, you can be happy. You don't have to live in a mansion. Come on, preach. You don't have to live in the biggest fine house. But the love of God in your life can make your day so much better. We don't have it sometimes. I, you know I would do, but I, I, I got to look out for myself. You need to share sometimes. God has brought you this far and he gave you all of that. You ought to be ready to share what you got that God has shared with you. You know, we, we've got a very certain thing that we're going to talk about at certain things. We quiet. We don't say what we could say. We don't say what we ought to say. Sometimes a word that's kind from God can help our sense of soul. It can bring peace. When, it, when you got this harmony. God can bring anything that we need if we will listen. Yeah. And uh, because you said, uh, for, for mine eyes I've seen the king, the Lord of hope. If you have seen the Lord of hope with your eyes, you ought to be a changed person. All right. Yeah. You can't change if you keep looking at me. But I can do that for you. But if you look to God, God can change you. Yeah. He can make you what you ought to be. Yeah. He can make you day better. Yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. we're miserable because we don't know what to do because we have done wrong. Yeah. And we've done so much, we don't know which way to go. Yeah. And see, when it was just when the, I just said, look, I'm a man of unclean lips. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if the servant came to him and brought a live coal or to put it on the lips, say, I have done this and that, put this now, your sins are taken away. But you need some fire. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the fire that's sent for soul of yours so the lips yeah. and the words ought to be said. Yeah. And if that's the case, then you got it all in control. Yeah. As the song said, I need the Lord. Yeah. Not yesterday, but every day. Yeah. And if I need the Lord today, I needed him yesterday. Yeah. I want him every day. Yes. Now who else is going to take care of his place or is going to take his place for you? There is nobody else. All right. And he laid upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin perished. Uh -huh. Just think about it. God is waiting. Yes. 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 To send a cold here is a it's just a summer. But God, if you ask to, not tomorrow, today. Today. Tomorrow might be too late. Tomorrow you might have found something else you think is better. Tomorrow might be the day that you were left here and didn't know you were going. But you need to ask God right now. God, I need you today. God, I need you to find my sin sick soul up so it would take my lift to where they ought to be. Yeah, you got to have a little fire to get them this where they ought to be. Yeah, yeah. And if there ain't no fire there, you got a problem. In the name of I Jesus. said, that, that, that I touched my lips and my iniquity is taken away and my sin perished. Yeah, yeah. That's because God comes yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to realize when we're dealing with God, who is God? Where did he come from? What makes him different? He is God Almighty. He made the world. And his glory is all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sees all. He hears all. He knows all. And he's willing to forgive you of all your sins. He deal with the sin of man. You say, well, I don't know about that. God came to save you, me, yeah, us yeah, sinners. Yeah. From our sin that would be what he wanted us to be. You know, we're all talking about, I'm going to go to heaven. Oh, what are you doing to get there? Right. And all you got to do is ask God to forgive you. And if God will forgive you, if he can forgive me, I know he can forgive you too. See, see, when you think about what you have done, you know how bad you have been. 
you know, God saved you. And you know, he is no respected person. He can Amen. save anybody. Amen. And, uh, and also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Why could he say that? Because God had fixed him up so he could And if God ain't straightened your life out, and you don't have God in your life, you can't go for nobody to tell nobody nothing because you don't know nothing to tell. We need God on our side. God can move, can move when nothing has to move. God can heal when nobody else can heal. God can feed you when you say there ain't no food. God can close you and you can't seem to find no money to buy no clothes with. Not only that, God can do anything but faith. And you see, we need to learn and get that in our mind, and then we can turn back to God to do what God has for us to do. But until that time, we ain't God. We want to be God, but that's all. We can't make it by ourselves. So, when that come along, and, and, and see, when he looked at it, he, he chose him. He okay. knew that people wasn't going to listen to him, but he still went. Yes. You know the folks ain't going to listen when you tell them about God, but God still expects you to tell them about him, give them an opportunity to hear about him. And if they don't hear, they ain't going to go. But if they hear, they might. There might be a few that will listen. Yes. Yes. As we come this morning, I want to thank you all for listening. But God has been good to me. Amen. And you know, I'm going to tell it like this. I guess I've been the biggest sin in the world. Amen. And see, we got to have, you know, I didn't live sin. Ain't no such thing as they did sin. Sin is what? Sin. And if you can't see it as sin, and you see the little sin, and I got a big sin, there's something wrong. God can't tolerate any of it. And so we need to realize who we are, where we at, and what we're doing, and who can we help. We in this lonely big world down here, and all the folks around that live all around us, but we can't see nobody. Sometimes we can't even hear God when he calls us because we got too much mess going around trying to tune everything out instead of listening for what God has to say to us. God is God. And God has been good to me. I don't know about you. But see, God has brought me from a long, long way. I can look, mug and clay, and he brought me out of sin. And not only that, he fed me, he clothed me, yeah, and God yeah. was ready to do the same thing for you, but you got to listen to him. Yeah. And you got to ask him. Yeah. You know, uh, I, 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 when I look at it sometimes, I thought about it one time, we go everywhere, but very seldom we go anywhere and pray. All right, come on. I know. You don't want, we don't want to. We don't want to be seen. I, I want to be a Christian, but I don't want you to know it. So we miss a blessing sometimes. Yes. God will yes. bless us because of our ways of doing things. Yes. Now, God can heal anything that we've got. Yes. If you can get it, God can heal it. Yes. So, at this time, I like for us who have pain in our body, who have pain in our mind, or whatever, let us all stand. I'd like to pray for you and pray with you that maybe God will come back yeah. and help us along the way. Yeah. And he will cleanse our soul. And when he yeah. cleanses our soul, our body itself will be cleansed. Yes. And you know it's a strange thing, you may not think so, but when you got God, your sickness doesn't seem as bad as it was. Amen. Amen. And not only that, I like to pray for those that are sick. Those who doesn't feel good, and those who today who are looking for a church home, let us bow our heads and pray. Yes. Almighty and all wise God, as we come, I want to say thank you for this day. Thank you, God, for the message you gave me. 
Thank you for leading and guiding and directing us to be here this morning. Thank you, God, because it was only you who brought us this fall. And God, there are those of us who don't feel good in our bodies. And God, I'm asking for your blessing upon them. I'm asking for your healing virtue. And I don't ask for it, God, but I have to know that you can give it. Help us to believe that and know that you can remove whatever it is we got. There's nothing that's there that's too bad or too big. And God, for those of us this morning who are lost, don't know which way we're going or where we're at, God, I ask that you would touch our hearts and bring us back to you. Let us come to you. Join the church is good, but God, let us join God first. And as we join God, God, we can ask you, if you will, to bless us and lead us and guide us and direct us the way we ought to go. Now, God, I know that you are God who can do all things but faith. And I would want you, God, to help me to understand that it's you who we need to pray for. And God, if you are there, and I know you always and everywhere, help us, God, along the way. Now, God, ask you to go with us and lead us and guide us and save us. There are those in the hospital this morning, God. I know that you know they're there, but God, help us to pray for them. Not only that, help us to go see them. And some of us, God, who are out in the world are doing good. But help us to tell them about you, that they might have a desire to come and see and hear you. For Christ's sake. Now, God, ask for your traveling mercy, food along the way. But I want us to have the spirit of food. That would do us good. And now, God, I ask for clothes, warmness. There's so many people that doesn't have anything, God, because it's done. But God, I ask for you. Give us a spirit that we want to share one with another and some of the things that we got. That they, too, might enjoy what you have for them. Now, God, if you will, I ask for traveling mercy. We'll go along no way. As only you can give. As only you have to give. As only you can remove all the obstacles out of our way. That we can be safe and return to our home. For Christ's sake. Now, God, if you will, let us go to peace. For Christ's sake. Amen.